Unit 5, Lesson 1, Using Decimals in a Shopping Context Number 1. Maya had $14.50. She spent $4.35 at the snack bar and $5.25 at the arcade. What is the exact amount of money Mai has left? $14.50 minus $4.35 equals $10.15. Then she spent $5.25. So $10.15 minus $5.25 equals $4.90. Number two. A large cheese pizza costs $7.50. Diego has $40 to spend on pizzas. How many large cheese pizzas can he afford? Explain or show your reasoning. I created a chart with the number of pizzas on the right-hand column and the cost of the pizzas in the left-hand column. One pizza costs $7.50. Two pizzas cost $15. Three pizzas cost $7.50 more than two pizzas. So that would be $22.50. Four pizzas, that's easy. You just double the price of two pizzas. So double $15 to get $30. Five pizzas, you're just adding $7.50 to $30, which is $37.50. And finally, six pizzas is $45. That's too expensive. So Diego can buy five whole pizzas with $40. Number three, tickets to a show cost $5.50 for adults and $4.25 for students. A family is purchasing two adult tickets and three student tickets. A. Estimate the cost. $5.50 can be estimated as $6, and $4.25 can be estimated as $4. So 6 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, or 6 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4. That's the same as 10 plus 10 plus 4, or $24. The estimated total cost would be just about $24. B. What is the exact cost? $5.50 plus $5.50 plus $4.25 plus $4.25 plus $4.25 is the same as $11 plus $12.75 and that equals $23.75. The exact cost for the tickets is $23.75. C. If the family pays $25, what is the exact amount of change they should receive? $25 minus $23.75 equals $1.25. The family should receive in change $1.25. Number 4. Chicken costs $3.20 per pound and beef costs $4.59 per pound. Answer each question and show your reasoning. A. What is the exact cost of three pounds of chicken? $3.20 plus $3.20 plus $3.20 equals $9.60. Three pounds of chicken at $3.20 per pound comes to a total of $9.60. B. What is the exact cost of three pounds of beef? $4.59 plus $4.59 plus $4.59 equals $13.77. So three pounds of beef at $4.59 per pound comes to a total of $13.77. C. How much more does three pounds of beef cost than three pounds of chicken? Since three pounds of beef cost $13.77 and three pounds of chicken cost $9.60, we'll have to subtract $9.60 from $13.77, and that comes to $4.17. Three pounds of beef cost $4.17 more than three pounds of chicken. Number five, A. How many one-fifth liter glasses can Lynn fill with a one and a half liter bottle of water? One and a half divided by one-fifth equals three halves divided by one-fifth. And to figure this out, we need to multiply three halves times the reciprocal of one-fifth, which is five over one. 
So 3 halves times 5 over 1 equals 5 halves or 7 and a half. Lynn can fill 7 and a half 1 fifth liter glasses with a 1 and a half liter bottle. B. How many 1 and a half liter bottles of water does it take to fill a 16 liter jug? 16 divided by 1 and a half equals 16 divided by 3 halves, which is the same as 16 over 1 times the reciprocal of 3 halves, which is 2 thirds. So 16 over 1 times 2 thirds equals 32 thirds or 10 and 2 thirds. It would take 10 and 2 thirds, 1 and a half liter bottles to fill a 16 liter jug. Number six, use the grid to complete this problem. Let the side length of each small square on the grid represent one half unit. Draw two different triangles, each with base five and one half units and area of 19 and one fourth units squared. Why does each of your triangles have area 19 and one fourth units squared? Explain your reasoning. The area of a triangle is half the base times the height. They've given us the area, that's 19 and 1 fourth units squared. They've given us the base, that's 5 and a half units. We can figure out the missing area by seeing how many times 5 and a half goes into 19 and 1 fourth. So 19 and 1 fourth divided by 5 and a half will equal half of the height. 19 and 1 fourth divided by 5 and 1 half is the same as 77 fourths divided by 11 halves. 77 fourths times the reciprocal of 11 halves is 77 fourths times 2 elevenths and that equals 7 halves or 3 and a half and remember that 3 and a half is half of the height so if 3 and a half is half of the height the full height would be 7 so the height equals 7 units here I've drawn two triangles both with a base of five and a half units and a height of seven units. Both their areas are 19 and one fourth units squared. Number seven, find each quotient. A, five sixths divided by one sixths. This one's easy because they have common denominators. Since the bottom number is the same, we can just do five divided by one and that equals five. Or you can go ahead and treat it as if you didn't notice that it had common denominators and you can multiply 5 6 times the reciprocal of 1 6 so that would be 5 6 times 6 over 1 which equals 5 over 1 or 5 B 1 and 1 6 divided by 1 12 1 and 1 6 can be rewritten as 7 6 so 7 6 divided by 1 12 is the same as 7 6 times the reciprocal of 1 over 12 which is 12 over 1 7 6 times 12 over 1 equals 14 over 1 or 14 c 10 6 divided by 1 24th that can be rewritten as 10 6 times the reciprocal of 1 24th which is 24 over 1 10 6 times 24 over 1 equals 40 over 1 or 40 Congratulations! You have completed Unit 5 Lesson 1 using decimals in a shopping context.